good evening everyone although over a few decades many wired lan protocols existed only the ethernet technology survives today and as we mentioned the tcp ip protocol suit does not define any protocol for data link or physical layer tcp ip accepts any protocol at these two layers that can provide services to the network layer so we here are about to discuss about the ieee standards which are being defined for lan using various wired technologies and especially about ethernet so in 1985 the computer society of the ieee started a project called project 802 to set standards to enable intercommunication among equipment from a variety of manufacturers and project 802 is the way of specifying functions of the physical layer and data link layers of major lan protocols so the relationship of uh, 802 standard with tcp is being shown in this layer so the logical link control llc is being specified as subdivided category of data link uh, layer and mac layer media access control is also another subdivision now uh, if you see llc and mac layer so they form combine together the data link layer and the llc layer sub layer takes care of low control error control and part of framing duties which are being collected as llc whereas framing is handled by both llc and media access control sub layer llc provides a single link layer control protocol for ieee lans whereas uh, the mac layer mac sub sub layer is transparent and it provides the various standards of media access control so we have ethernet media access control token ring and token bus based on uh, various ways in which the media is accessed so now let us uh, pass on to the evolution of ethernet ethernet lan was developed in 1970s by robert metcalf and david box and it has gone through four generations and they are standard ethernet with 10 mbps uh, fast ethernet with 100 mbps gigabit ethernet with 1 mbps 1 gbps and uh, 10 gigabit ethernet with 10 gbps so these uh, generations have been evolving with the growth of speed so when you uh, go back and refer to the hdlc frame format the high level data link control frame format goes like this where the hdlc frame is formed by the upper layer data which is kept as the payload over here and the uh, frame control that is frame check uh, sequence is added as the trailer and we have the various control bits and address bits being added as the header so this is a general format whereas uh, that is being uh, shown in the form of mac frame here media access control frame where the mac uh, payload remains at the starting 
that is, uh, remains in between whereas the MAC header and uh, frame check sequence remains as header and trailer so this payload is again taken by LLC uh, PDU where it is being uh, uh, framed by the header and the uh, payload of LLC LLC layer as shown here in the data lake layer so this uh, uh, upper layer data is combined with the control bits and SSAP and DSAP where SSAP is the source service access point and DSAP is the destination service access point so we will go in deep about 